Many watched the great American solar eclipse, but Trinidad and Tobago came under the partial shadow. Nevertheless, locals turned out just to catch a glimpse however they could. Ian Wallace reports. On August 21st, 2017, the moon passed between the Earth and the Sun during the total solar eclipse. The moon cast its darkest shadow visible over the United States that was 4,000 kilometers long and 100 kilometers wide at the totality. The Caribbean Institute of Astronomy had viewings for the partial solar eclipse across the region and Trinidad and Tobago. Stargazers, children and parents stood in line in San Fernando, St. Augustine and Sandy Grande as well as Queen's Park Savannah to catch a glimpse at the partial solar eclipse. First, the astronomers protected the telescope. Okay. You buy this in sheets, eight and a half by eleven sheets, and I made the rest up in cardboard. If you let all that light in here, you will fry something inside. So this cuts out 99.9% .9 of the light. Stargazers protected their eyes. This lady was a shoe-in for the best homemade camera. I have plant lots of shoe boxes, so I said, let me try and make a camera. So very low tech. <laughs> Before they had glasses, people were using these. Graham Rostant of Carina says regional astronomers are pleased with the turnout. And yeah, it feels good for us to be able to, to do this and hope that it sticks with some people and they're encouraged to spend more time looking up. A, a total solar eclipse where everything around you goes dark for a few minutes, that's a very mystical experience. We're not going to have that here, we just get a taste of it. But to be right in the path of a total eclipse must be something very special. And a couple of our own members are sitting square in the path of totality in the United States. The lucky ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been a once in a lifetime experience, especially for those younger ones looking through the telescope. So you have your telescope, or shoebox camera, or your special glasses. This is all good. If only you got the weather to cooperate under the passing clouds. For seniors, I am meteorologist Ian Wallace.